Great morning, everyone. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do me a favor. Go ahead and like, tag, share. My name is Desmond Peacock Sr. I'm one of the lead pastors of the Excelling Church Georgia campus, and this is 6 a.m. Prayer Pursuit. 6 a.m. Prayer Pursuit. Amen. I love, I love you guys. Come on and go ahead and like, tag, share. Like, tag, share. Like, tag, share. I promise not to be before you long this morning, but I pray that your morning has been blessed because it's Sunday. You're still breathing, <laughs> and God woke you up. Amen. So just do me a favor and just, just in that moment, just begin to give God praise for who, he's, who he is, what he's done what he's doing and what he's going to continuously do in your life amen i love you guys so much um and this is it this is 6 a.m prayer pursuit so if you could uh do me a favor i i, I pray you are already there but if not get yourself in a position to where it's no distractions it's just you and god uh, we're going to pray together. Um, I'm going to intercede on your behalf. If you have any prayer requests, please feel free to put them in the comment section. I'm actually going to check my email to check our email to see if anyone sent um, a prayer request to our email address. I just want to make sure that I haven't missed anybody or any special requests. Amen. And in the event you do have a request and you may not be on the live right now. I want you, and you may see this live later, I don't want you to miss out, continue to put in your prayer request, amen, put in your prayer request, all right, amen, 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 amen. Man, all right. I love you guys. Listen, uh, just a few, a few notes before we jump into what God had, God gave me. Um, I want you all to make sure. Listen, we have our intercessory prayer class coming up this Saturday. Our intercessory prayer class, prayer and intercession class, starts this Saturday at 10 a.m. sharp. 10 a.m. sharp. So. If you haven't already registered, please do me a favor and register to this morning. Register this morning. Registration is free. Registration is free. Amen. All you have to do is sacrifice your time on Saturday at 10 a.m. So if you are in the Columbus, Georgia, Tri-City area, yeah. excuse me, and you would like to be a part, you would like to be a part, you would like to... Um, you would like to be involved, you would like to participate in this class, you want to be a part of this class, listen, you can register today because registration will close this Friday. It will close this Friday, so I need you all, if you would like to be a part, go ahead and register for our prayer and intercessory class. Uh, we're going to be dropping the link in the chat. We're going to be dropping the link in the comment section. It will be a closed class. It's not going to be live. We're not going to be streaming it live. However, it will be on Zoom for those of us that may not be in Columbus, Georgia, but want to be a part of the class. We will be sending out a Zoom link to those that are not that are not currently physically in Columbus, Georgia, or the Tri-City area, but you still want to participate in the class. You can do so. Amen. When we're closing in on our on our day, it's the first three Saturdays in the month of November. Amen. Lead, which makes this Saturday come in the first Saturday, but we close at, we close registration at, and on Friday. So I want to make sure and I want to put it out that listen, if you still would like to be a part, Amen. People are registering, and I thank you all to those who have registered. Thank you so much because that lets me know that you believe the God in me to help sharpen skills and help broaden your spectrum and your and your outlook on what prayer and intercession means and what and what it is in your life. Amen. So that is going to be this Saturday, beginning this Saturday at 10 a.m. sharp. Amen. So register, register. Please register, register, register. Amen. All right. It is now almost 6.10. It is 6.10. It's 6.10. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this thing, y'all. We're going to jump right into this thing. 
All right, so I just want to encourage you all this morning in, in, in more ways than one, but I want to encourage you all and just kind of let you know that, listen, I want you to go get it. I want you to go get it. I want you to go get it because the favor is already yours. Go get it because the favor is already yours. Go get it. Go get it. Because God has already granted you favor over what he wants you to get. So go get it. And how we're going to do that is I want us to go turn with me to your Bibles. If you got your Bibles on you, turn with me to the book of Psalm, verse, of Psalm chapter 20, verse 4. Psalm chapter 20, verse 4. And I'm going to read it in my Bible. And it reads, May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. So what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? May he grant you all. May he, may he grant you all your purpose. May he grant you all your heart's desire and fulfill your purpose. What does that mean? We all have desires. We all have desires. We all have things that we would like to accomplish. Things that we, that we, we got things that we would like to accomplish. And then we got those things that we literally always all we do is we think about them so much it's like a continuous thought process in our head so much right we think about it a lot we, we we go to sleep thinking about it we go we wake up thinking about it and it's a specific thing that you want to accomplish or a specific thing that you want to do or a specific goal that you want to reach it's a desire you desire this thing Amen. It's not just something that's a fly by night. You literally desire this thing. And in Psalms, it's it's a it's a reassurance of God's saving work. Psalm chapter 20 is is just the assurance of God's work and God's saving work on you. And, and verse 4, it says again, it says, May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. So we're just praying this morning that God grants you your desire. That's one of the topic targets that I want us to pray this morning about is our desire. One, ensure that our desire is in line with our purpose in God. Because sometimes we may have desires, but the desire isn't lined up with what God's plan and purpose for our life is. And so it doesn't pan out the way we want it to pan out because it's not in alignment with what God's purpose for our life is. So before we even begin to ask God to grant us our heart's desire, we need to ask God to ensure that our heart's desire is in alignment with what his purpose for our life is. Let's first think about that first. Amen. Let's think about God. Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? Or is this thing that I'm thinking about that has, that has, been, that has been in my heart or in my mind? Is it in alignment with you? If it's not, Lord then don't grant it. I don't want to be granted anything that is not in alignment with you. You know what I mean? So if, or if it has been in alignment, if it is in alignment with God, we're going to be asking that God grant you your desires. God grant you your desire. It's your desire that your family be saved. We're going to be grant. We're going to be touching and agreeing that this morning. It's your desire that you be debt free and that, that see, that you be debt free, but that you also be financially you fi be financially wise and sound. We're gonna be praying to God on that because it's amazing how we always got we, we pray to God to, to we don't want to be debt we want to be debt free. We don't want to we don't want to have any debt. We want to have to owe nobody. And then God blesses us and we become debt free. But then literally two three months later we put ourselves back in a specific debt because we're not wise. We've been praying the wrong prayer, and we need to ask God to make us wise in our spending, wise without wise with our finances, because He can bring you out of debt, but if you're not wise in your spending, you're gonna go right back into debt, and you'll be praying the same prayer to God again. So, if that's your desire, maybe you need to ask God. It's God. It's my desire that you teach me how to be wise with my spending. 
You teach me how to be wise with the money that you bless me with. Amen. If it's a desire that you get a promotion on your job, first ask God, is this, is this, is this promotion in alignment with you? Have I been in alignment with you to get this desire that I want, which is this promotion? Because we also have to realize that when God grants us things, sometimes we lose sight on him. Sometimes we lose sight on who granted us that desire and then we just forget. And in, and in our forgetfulness, in our forgetfulness, we begin to like, what's the word? Like we just begin to forget God. We, we begin to forget who he is. We begin to, we forget, we begin to forget spending time with him, all that stuff, because we're so concentrated on this promotion that he gave us. So I want us all to understand when it comes down to God's desire for your heart, and God's purpose and plan for you is in alignment with him. And I want to begin to pray this morning that God grants you your desires because I want you to go get it. Because if he grants you your desires and fulfill your purpose, it got his favor on it. It got his favor on it. It got his favor on it. And I want you to just go get it. I want you to go after it. I don't want you to sit no more on this thing. I want you to go after what God has called you to do. I want you to go after this thing. I want you to strategize. And I want you to go after this thing. Amen. Don't sit another moment without allowing God to, to, to pour into you. But then after he pours into you, don't sit another moment without doing the work. Amen. And then we're going to go to one more scripture. We're going to go to one more scripture and we're going to go into prayer. So turn with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. I'm going to read it. And it reads, concerning, I'm sorry, and it reads, And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. My grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. The amazing thing about God, y'all, is when we go after this thing, it's going to be trying, it's going to be challenging, but we can rest assured in knowing that God's grace is sufficient and his strength is there in time of my weakness. So when you go after this thing, this desire that God that, 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 that God has granted you and you go after this desire and you go after the purpose and the plan that God has for your life. Understand that God will grant you, he will grant you his strength in time of your weakness. And as you go along this, this journey of, of, of God filling your heart's desire and granting it to you and getting the favor for it, God will grace you for it. God will grace you for it. Some of us have already been graced for it. We just got to do it. Some of us have already been graced for this journey. We just have to go forth. And God is waiting for us to go forth. Amen. So, in this moment of prayer, y'all, in our 6 a.m. prayer pursuit, I want us to pray. I want us to pray. I want us to pray. And I want us to pray that God, that, that as you pray, as I pray for you, I pray you praying for me. We're praying for each other. Amen. Because God, the Bible says, pray ye one for another so that you may be healed. So I want us to pray for one another that God grants our heart's desires, whatever that may be. Amen. That's going to be our target this morning. If you have any prayer requests before I, before I get started, please feel free to put it in the comment section during prayer or even right now. Because if there's something specific that you may want me to intercede on your behalf, I don't want to miss it. Amen. But if the, in the event... Is popping up and I don't see it, I will go back and check the comments and, and pray on your behalf because I believe that not only prayer changes things, but I believe that prayer also is an important, important vital role in our life as men and women of God. It's our, it's our direct conversation with God. Amen. So if you're in a place that's that have no distractions and you know, if you're on your phone, that's perfect. Amen. That's fine. Get into a place where you can just begin to pray to God. And we're going to go to God in prayer this morning. Amen. 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 Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. First of all, God, we just want to say thank you. We want to praise your name. We want to thank you for who you are. We want to thank you for what you've done. We want to praise you for the 
things that you're about to do. Father, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord God, that you've given us to wake up this morning. And in that moment, Father, we just want to worship you. We want to worship you for who you are. We just want to worship you, Father. We want to praise your name, Lord Jesus. Father, we want to adore you. We adore your name. Your name be lifted high in this moment. Your name be lifted high in the heavens. Your name be lifted high forevermore. Because you are the same God back then, that the same God that you are now. So, Father, we praise you for it. We adore you for it. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, we bow down before you and we say, holy, 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 Lord God almighty. Early in the morning, our songs shall rise to thee. Father, we just call you holy in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise your name, Lord God. We worship and adore you. We crown you Lord of Lords. We crown you King of Kings in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you for it now. We praise you for it now. We give you the reverence in which you deserve as our Lord and Savior. Father, have your way this morning. We adore you right now, Father God. Have your way, Jesus. Father, I pray right now that in this moment, you show yourself mighty to all those that have woken up this morning, those that have sacrificed their time to sacrifice to be with you, to have some one-on-one -on -one time with you, Father. I pray right now, Lord God, that you begin to honor, Lord God, that you honor our heart's desire. You honor us, Father, because we're sacrificing our time. We're waking up in the morning. Or those of us that may not have been able to sleep, we are awake, Father God, in prayer with you, in steady communication and intercession with you, Father. Father, we are praying right now that you are connecting us to the throne of grace right now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you right now through your son, Father, that we are connected to the throne of grace. Father God, we are praying right now that our prayers are reaching your throne right now in the name of Jesus. Father God, because we fight not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and in the name of Jesus. So Father God, we're praying, Lord, that the spiritual warfare that we fight daily, we get the victory, with the victory. We are granted the victory. We are granted it, Father God, because we're walking victorious in you because you've already taken the keys of death, hell, and the grave. In the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we worship you. We thank you. We adore you. We praise you. Father, we love you in the name of Jesus. We would be nothing without you. We would be absolutely, positively nothing without you. Thank you, Lord God, for the air we breathe. Thank you, Father, for inhaling and exhaling this air, this oxygen that you have created. Thank you, Father, for the protection day in and day out, Father. You protected us. We didn't have to be alive this morning, but we are alive. And because of that, Father, we say thank you. We say, Father, have your way. Father God, not our will, but your will be done in this moment. Your will be done tomorrow. Your will be done in the future. In the name of Jesus, we surrender it right now because we realize, we realize, Father, that we can't do this thing called life by ourselves. We need direction. We need guidance. We need wisdom. We need protection. We need grace. We need love. We need compassion. We need it, Father God. And you are all of those things in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we are surrendering to you this morning and we are saying, Lord, have your way in my life. Have your way in my life, Father God. Let your decisions be made known. The things you want us to do, Father, we are praying, Lord God, we are decreeing and declaring that it is so, that it is so, that the things that you ask of us, the things that you have commanded us, our answer is yes and amen. It is yes because we are agreeing that we're going to do it, and we are saying amen because it is so. It is the stamp of approval that it is so in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you right now. We cease not to continue to praise you. We cease not to continue to adore you. We cease not to continue to worship you in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our praise is like a sweet sound in your ear. Father, we pray right now that you can, the sweet smell of our praise and our worship, for Father God, it reaches your throne, Father, and you can begin to dispatch your angels huh, to help us, Father God. Dispatch your angels uh, to grant us the, the request of our prayers in the name 
name of Jesus, the petitions of our heart, Father. We thank you for it right now. We praise you for it right now. Father, I'm praying for a specific healing for our people, healing for those that are online this morning, healing, whether it be whether it be physical, physical, emotional, or mental, Father God. We are calling for a healing for your people, a specific healing in the specific area that they are needing it, Father God, the pain, the pain that they are enduring. First of all, we want to say thank you for the endurance. Mm. Thank you, Father God, for the endurance. Thank you, Jesus, for endurance. Thank you, Father, that we have been able to endure the things that we deal with. And Father God, we thank you because now we are looking at things differently. We are choosing. We choose to be in the position that we're in. We choose it. We are no longer going to sit there and give the enemy glory. I choose to be at this place because I know God is mending me. I choose to be at this place because I know God is molding me. I choose to be in this place because I know God is strengthening me. I choose to be in this place because I know God is testing me. I choose to be in this place because I know I will come out victorious because I'm connected to the victor. In the name of Jesus, we will no longer give the enemy power when we're in tragedy. We will no longer give the enemy power when we're in our unknown season. We will no longer give the enemy power even if he decides, even if he decides, even if he's allowed, even if he is allowed to touch us, even if he is allowed to try us. Uh, we believe right now that we will no longer give Satan the glory when he tries us. Uh, we are going to be putting it back in the pocket of the one that allowed Satan to try us uh, because that is a victorious heart. That is a kingdom mindset. And so, Father God, we are choosing right now to change the way we think, to change the way we look at things, to change our outlook on this earth uh, because we are chosen by you. Therefore, if we're chosen by the creator, we must think and respect respond and conduct ourselves like his creation, which means we have dominion over this earth. So Father God, we take back the dominion over this earth. We take back the control that you once gave us. And so Father, we pray right now that you strengthen us as we attack the desires of our heart, as we begin to go after the favor, as we begin to go after the things that, that have been, that you've planted, that you've sown, that you've sown in our souls and our hearts and our minds. We begin to go after it, Father God, in the name of Jesus, because we know we have been graced for the race. We know we have been graced for this race, and we know the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but to those that endure to the end. And so, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for giving us grace for this race. We thank you, Father, that we realize that we are not running and um, we are not running in a in a in a in a race, Father God, but it's a marathon. It's more so a marathon. It's more so how long are we willing to run in the name of Jesus? So, Father God, we are willing to run for however long you decide, Father. And we're running at a steady pace. We're not sprinting in the name of Jesus. We're not speed walking, but we're at a steady pace, Father. We're at a steady pace. We're at a steady a steady pace in our spiritual race. We are breathing right in. We are doing it. We are we we have a we got the motion going, Father, in the name of Jesus. We got a good rhythm going in the name of Jesus. Because we realize that it's not given to the fastest, it's not given to the strongest, but it's given to the one that can't endure. Because you can be strong, but that doesn't mean you can endure. We understand that you could be fast, but that doesn't mean you can endure. You're fast. We understand that being fast means that you're able to get from one place to another place in a specific speeding, specific type of order. And so, Father God, we truly believe that where you haven't designed us, you haven't created us to go through this thing called life quickly. You haven't created us to achieve the things that you want us to achieve quickly. Now, you want us to go through the storm. You want us to go through the rain. You want us to go through the measures and where we have to endure things because we realize that the troubles we may, we may deal with right now has nothing accounted to, has no comparison to the glory at the end. The suffering that we may suffer right now can't even account to the glory at the end. And so, Father God, we are enduring it right now because we know there's a glory coming. We know there is a glory coming. We know that the glory that is coming will outmatch and outweigh the suffering that we're dealing with right now. We understand because we are graced for this thing. We are graced for this thing, Father, and we say thank you for it. 
Thank you for it. Thank you for being graced for this race. Thank you, Father God. Find favor in what we're doing, Lord, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We want your approval. We don't seek approval from nobody else in the name of Jesus. We don't seek approval from no man. We don't seek approval from no woman. We don't seek approval from no, from no boss. We don't seek approval from no pastor. We don't seek approval from no minister. Father God, we are seeking your approval in the name of Jesus because we realize that once we we seek your approval, it'll all fall in line with everyone else. And so, Father, we are coming after your approval in the name of Jesus. The things that may not be like you, not may, the things that are not like you that are in us, Father, we are asking, Lord God, that you burn it up. We repent of our sinful thoughts. We repent of our sinful lifestyles. We repent of our sinful of our sinful actions and functions, Father. And we ask that you come in our hearts and cleanse us. Cleanse us clean, Father, in the name of Jesus, and let the conviction of the Holy Ghost be, be, our, be, be our navigation system mentally and spiritually through what we do in this thing called life, Father. And we thank you for the advocate that you left us. We thank you for the advocate, Lord God. And I pray, I pray that we begin to we begin to lean on the advocate more than we've ever done in this season. We begin to lean on the voice of the Holy Ghost in this season, in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for it. We praise you for it. We're leaning on the wise counsel. We're leaning on it right now. We're leaning on to your unchanging hand because lo, these many thousands of years, God, you have not changed. You have not changed. You have not, you have not compromised. And because of that, Father, we dare not compromise. We dare not change. In the name of Jesus, we, Father God, we come against the compromising in the ministry. We come against those that have compromised their gift, that has muzzled the anointing that you've given, that you've given them for the status of the church. And so, Father, we're praying right now that you continue to expose the things that are going on in your house that you are not pleased with. Continue to expose your leaders huh, and bring us back to a state of humility. Bring us back to a state of helping. Bring us back to a state of being connected. Bring us back to a state of helping each other. Bring us back to a state of understanding that advancing the kingdom is not done by one church and one church alone. Huh? And so, Father God, it's done. It's done by the it's done by the connection. It's done by the by the teamwork. It's done by it's done by us coming together. As a, as, a, as a body and advancing the kingdom of God. We realize, Lord, that not one ministry can do this thing called advancing the kingdom of God by ourselves. And so, Father, I come against the, the selfish demon in the church. I come against the I come against the, the 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 spirit the spirit of separation in the church. I come against it, Father God. And Father, bring back the spirit of being humble. Bring it back, Father God. And whatever you need to do with your leaders to ensure that they get back humble and they get back focused on what they have been chosen to do in the first place. Father God, I pray that you begin to do it now. You begin to do it now, Father God, because humility, genuine humility, goes a long way, Father. And so, Father, we realize that also being humble is what puts us in positions that we've never expected we would be in, but we have to stay humble. In the name of Jesus, huh? we're graced for the race, huh? but we have to be humble during it. We have to be humble while we race. Huh? We have to be humble while we're running huh? because we're graced and we were given favor, but favor comes from our humility. In the name of Jesus, and I speak the humility, I speak the spirit of humility over your people today. Not only leaders, but Father, I pray for those that are just, that are partners, that are those that are, that are men and women of God. Father, I pray a spirit of humility over us even now. In the name of Jesus, because as we go get it, we have to realize that as we go get it, we need to be humble as we get it. Because we understand that humility comes Humility, what follows humility is favor and grace and Lord and your blessings. And Father, we love you for it right now. We praise you for it right now. We adore you for it right now. Father, we exalt your name on high. Father, you are Alpha, you are Omega. Lord God, you are the beginning and the end, Father. You created this, Lord. You are the I am that I am. You are everywhere 
anywhere and always, always together, any and everywhere, even with us, wherever we are, our going out, our coming in, you are with us, Father God. You are the omnipresent God. You are the omnipotent God. You are the all-knowing, all-strength God the strong one. And so, Father, we thank you for it. And, Father, we are we are amazed and marveled in what you've done so far in our life. Uh, thank you for the many blessings, even the blessings we didn't deserve. We thank you for those blessings, Father, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ. And so, Father God, as I pray for those online this morning, I pray that you give them the, 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 the strategies on how to go after the desires of their heart. I pray, Lord God, that you download the strategy and the blueprint on what to on where to go, on how to do it, Father God, and you grace them for doing it. You give them favor, you grant them favor, Father, in the name of Jesus, whether their heart's desire would be their families being saved, whether their heart's desire would be a deeper relationship in you, whether their heart's desire would be hearing from you a lot clearer, whether their heart's desire would be that, that business that they, that they need to open, that book that needs to be written, in the name of Jesus, Father, we are praying right now that you download the strategy in your people today. Download the strategy to your people today in the name of Jesus and, and give us, uh, let us understand what sacrifice really looks like, Father, in the name of Jesus, because we thank you for sacrificing your son. We could never, we could never amount to what you've done. We can never amount to your giving. We can never amount or compare to your sacrifice. All we can do is say thank you, Father. Thank you for sacrificing your son for us before we were even born. Thank you for forgiving our sins and thank you for a way to be reconnected and connected to the kingdom of God. Even for those of us that may have fell off, even for those of us that may have walked away from the church. Father, I thank you that you have given even them, you have given even them a blood bought right into the kingdom as long as they choose. Thank you, Father God, for choosing us for a time and a season as this one, Father. Thank you, Lord God, because you could have chosen anyone, but you chose us. And so, Father, we are eternally grateful for what you've done in the name of Jesus. And we love you for it. We adore you for it. We praise you for it. Father God, we thank you for this encouraging prayer time with you. Thank you for this time that we have been able to talk. We have been able to conversate. We have been able to request. And Father, we pray that our petitions have already reached the throne of grace and your angels have already been dispatched to answer those prayers and have those requests come to pass and father we love you we adore you and we praise you for this moment right now father i pray right now jesus that you have all of your way you show your way around show out and show off in and through your people today bless every ministry as they go forth preaching teaching worshiping, praising, as they usher in your atmosphere. Father, I pray that every ministry ushers in an atmosphere comfortable enough for you to sit in. So that, because that's what it's all about, to be connected to you, to share the gospel, and to reach souls. And Father, I pray for every ministry's outreach. Whatever that may look like, however that may operate. Father, I pray that our outreach becomes more than what it's just been doing. Father, I pray that you begin to grant us favor in our outreach programs as we reach as we reach the lost, as we reach those that are not partners, as we do things for our communities, Father God. Give us the strategy and give us the connection. Connect us with the right people in the name of Jesus. And we love you for it now. We praise you for it now. We adore you for it now. Lord, have your way in our life today. Have your way, Father. We thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for what you've done. And Lord God, we are excited for what you're about to do in the lives of your people today. Father, I pray a special prayer over each pastor, leader, minister, whatever facet, whatever position they may, they may have been ordained to at this very moment and approved by you. Father, I pray a new strength a new vision, a new anointing for them right now as they go forth today to preach or teach your word. 
in the name of Jesus. And we thank you right now for every individual that may enter a church, that may enter a ministry today, whether it be saved, whether it be a partner, or whether it be someone that just, whether it be someone that's not saved, that just wants to have a relationship with God. Father God, we are asking that you, that if you find favor in our ministry, Father, bring them in from the north, the south, and the east, and the west, in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus Christ. And we love you for it this morning. We praise you for it this morning. We are asking that every petition that has been made known, you know about it this morning. In the name of Jesus. And Father, we're praying a special prayer that you speak to us. That you speak to us, Father God. We are desiring, we are desiring to hear your voice. And we're chasing after your heart. In the name of Jesus. And we love you for it. We praise you for it. We adore you for it. In Jesus' mighty match, this name. And God's people say, Amen. 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 Amen, y'all. It's it's just something about prayer. It's something about when you get to a position where it's just you and God. And you begin to pray. You begin to open up your mouth and speak. Because the Bible says, confess with your mouth. I love it. I pray that you all were blessed this morning by our 6 a.m. prayer pursuit. Listen, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Find you a church. Find you a church. As a matter of fact, ask God to direct you to a church this, today. Direct you. Say, God, please direct me to the church you want, you want me to go to this morning or this afternoon. And have God lead you to a church. And then... Just listen and soak in the word that God is going to be giving you this morning or this afternoon. I love you guys so much. If you are in the Columbus, Georgia area or the Tri-City area, that's that's Phoenix City, Alabama, that's Fort Mitchell, Alabama, that's Columbus, that's you know Harris County, you know, Muskogee County, listen, and you're looking for a church home or you're looking for a place to worship today, you can feel free to come. Visit us at the Excelling Church Georgia campus. We are on 5201 Morris Avenue, right here in the heart of Columbus, Georgia. And guess what, y'all? Our service starts at 4 p.m. Our service starts at 4 p.m. So you can sleep in, you can spend a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time with God, you can grab you something to eat, and then come in and enjoy the word. Come in and enjoy worship with us. You are invited. Our doors open up promptly at 3.30 p.m. And our service starts promptly at 4 p.m. I love you guys. Your, our doors are open to you. So do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. Meet us in the building this afternoon. We have begun our series, Moving Forward 2.0. <laughs> Moving Forward 2.0. And we are on part two today. We're on part two today. So please... If you want to be a part, you want to listen, you want to enjoy God, you want to be in an atmosphere where we allow God to do Him, meet us at the Excelling Church Georgia campus at 4 p.m. You won't be disappointed. Amen. I love you guys so much. Amen. Don't forget our prayer intercession class is our registration is open and registration is free, but registration will close on Friday because we start this Saturday. Amen. Listen. I've enjoyed prayer this morning. I pray that you have enjoyed prayer this morning. And I just pray God does some miraculous things in your life. I pray that the things that you are praying God for, he's giving you insight and he's giving you answers. Amen. He's giving you the answers that you have been looking for, the, the, the requests, the, the, the request to your need. He's beginning to, he's beginning to solve. He's beginning to grant and so i just love you guys and i pray that god does amazing things and that he continues to do amazing amazing things and he continues to show himself mighty in your life listen my name is pastor des aka pastor De well my name is pastor desmond peacock senior as you see on the screen aka pastor des this is the excelling church georgia campus where your life gets better from here thank you again for joining us at 6 a.m prayer pursuit i pray that you were blessed i will see you back here if not in the building right here online at 4 p.m as we go live for our jesus encounter this afternoon i love you guys you all be safe have a blessed and wonderful day